We're now going to look at our inventory window, which is integrated with every other aspect of the Guild Jeweler software. A very important part, so let's see what we can find here. We are now going to look at the inventory section of Guild Jeweler. So in order to do that, we first click on the inventory window button here. And now we're going to do uh, add inventory. This password is a password that will be given um, only by management. And uh, only the person who has this password can get into this part of the system. Now for category, we're going to type 4SR, which means for sapphire ring and we're going to give it a st it gives a stock number of 1189 for the vendor we're going to use our vendor code for Simon G um, you can type in or create any vendor code you would like um, the invoice well I'm going to type in TER 567 and you can type in whatever you would like for an invoice code we're going to give it a cost of two thousand dollars and it automatically brings it up to five thousand one hundred which I think maybe is a little high I believe it would sell a little bit better if we change the price to say four thousand nine hundred and fifty and of course we just have one of these items um, the next step we're going to do is we're going to type in a part number and you'll see that this has a red dot so that means this has to be filled in so for our part number we're going to put in 22-5567 and we're going to use the compiler so I hit enter and it takes me to the compiler list now under this compiler the very first thing we see is the word item and under item I'm going to put down ring and it's a ladies ring and it's a sapphire as we saw a moment ago and it's 14 yellow gold and for the cut it's an oval the color uh, I could put something there but I think I'll just stick with the default optional and the same with the clarity we really don't need at this point to put that in our metal is 14 karat yellow the width of this particular ring is going to be seven millimeters and the length of this will be um, let's make it nine millimeters the depth is optional but on this one we are going to go ahead and give it a depth of 5.4 and it automatically gives us an approximate weight if we happen to have the weight in inventory we can delete the word approximate and we can type in the exact weight uh, the carat weight that is and the gram weight I happen to know from my inventory um, so I'm going to type that in and it is 4.8 and you'll see that the compiler brings all this information to us I will now simulate a three stone ring with two diamonds in prong settings. The, um, the cut would be round brilliant cut. The color of each of these would be H with a clarity of, oh, let's say SI. And a carat weight of the two combined would be 0.50. And we can edit any information from this page. Um, also from this page, we could capture a photo if we chose to from this screen and we will do this later on in our demonstration not right now um, as we go back to the uh, inventory main information page you'll see that we can check it to uh, be able to print our ring tags we can also check it so that it's appraisal ready so that when we print this off it will print off the appraisal once we have made all of our corrections or done anything we needed to on this page the next thing we need to do is record the item and when we record the item it will automatically print what we have checked and you will see the the printing screens appearing in front of you right now so now this program assumes that we were going to use um, Simon G to add more inventory but we're not at this point so I'm going to back out once more and it's going to take us back to our inventory window now from here we are going to do um, an inventory search so I'm going to click on inventory search and we're going to search for the item we put in the inventory recently and you may or may not remember what that was but it was a 4SR with a stock number of 1189 this takes us immediately to this item and as you can see on this screen there is all the information that you would want to know about this item um, at 
the bottom of the screen we have a variety of options if we so choose we could at this point um, take a picture um, we could print a ring tag or a label or a barbell tag or import a thumbnail and there's not enough time to show you all that we could do so we're going to back out and go to our inventory window and at this point we're going to do one more search and we're going to look for the item that um, we well actually we're going to look for all the items under Simon G and uh, that are in stock and if we leave the quantity at one and click on vendor style it'll bring us into a window that shows us all of our Simon G inventory uh, just that quickly and as we scroll through here you'll see that the information most of it was put in there by the compiler which means that these are all ready to be uh, they're all appraisal ready 